Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 31-year-old male who has history of a laceration in the dorsal radial aspect of the hand, just distal to the thenar uh, muscles. And on this view, you can see there's edema in the dorsal hand. They were worried about an extensor tendon tear of the index finger. And so that was the main thing to exclude. So if we go here to the wrist, we can see the extensor tendons here. If we go more distally, we're going to follow these extensor tendons up, especially look for the one going to the second the second digit here. This is the second metacarpal bone. We're going to follow this up, follow this up. And we can see that the extensor tendons are intact. There's no extensor tendon tear. The flexor tendons are intact as well. So we answered their question. There's no extensor tendon rupture or laceration that they're worried about. But they have a lot of edema along the dorsal, radial, palmar aspects here. And they do have a significant abnormality, which is right here. We have a tear of this muscle, which I've never seen before. This is the first dorsal interosseous muscle. And it has two components. It has a component that's torn here, that's more radial. It has another component here that's intact. And this atta um, attaches to or originates from the second metacarpal bone. The torn component here originates from the first metacarpal bone. Now, if we go down, we can see the muscle belly here. It's going to come off down here. The uh, first metacarpal. This foggy thing here is the muscle. As we follow it up, it looks kind of funny. Foggy, bright, ill-defined. And then we're going to get into that central tendon here distantly. There's a tendon. There's a tendon. And then one more cut, and we're out of it. So that's the uh, ruptured and retracted tendon. Now we're going to look on a coronal PD fat set view here to see the same thing. And on this one, we can see lots of abnormal signal out here. And Right here is that muscle. Coming up here, you can see the little metal um, where they've had that laceration. And this is probably the torn end of the tendon right here, the uh, tendon. And this is the muscle. We have a stir sequence that's going to show us a little bit better. But this shows the two components of the muscle. There's the one more radial component that's torn and retracted. And again, these attach out here along the radial margin of the second metacarpal. And this is that other component that's intact. It comes up here, attaches right adjacent to it. On the stir sequence, you can see this a little bit more easily. This is the abnormal muscle. There's a muscular tendon junction that's torn. This is the susceptibility artifact from the uh, injury, the laceration. And this is the end retracted. Again, here's that other muscle component that is intact. Now, just a quick anatomy about those dorsal interosseous muscles. So the we have a first one here. The first one has two components. We talked about this one that's torn and retracted. This other component here that comes up, and they both attach over here together along the radial side here. Now the second, third, and fourth dorsal interosseous muscles are right here, here, here. The second and third come up, and they both attach to the third metacarpal base, one on this side, one on this side. And the fourth one here goes along the ulnar side of the fourth metacarpal. You can see these coming up. This one comes up. It attaches right there. You can see these ones, they come up, one attaches here, one attaches here. Again, this one comes over on this side, attaches here. So some interesting anatomy there. Probably the last time we ever see that, but a very interesting case here of a torn and retracted dorsal first interosseous muscle. Thank you very much.